Hello everyone, and welcome to this video on how to program your robot so that you can use two eyes to chase your opponent around the table. Right now in our battle program, we only have one ultrasonic sensor that is targeted toward the opponent. And it's very simple. If you see the opponent with the ultrasonic sensor, you charge forward. We're going to remove this and delete it. And we're gonna replace it with a more complicated program that utilizes two ultrasonic sensors. First thing we're gonna do is create a My Block. So click here on My Blocks and click Make a Block. We're gonna call it Two Eyes. And we're gonna add three inputs. One, two, three. The first input will be our speed. The second will be the distance away from the object that you want to start turning. And the final one will be how much do you want to turn once you see an opponent. Click Save. And then up here you'll see a definition. So we're going to bring that down here. And we're going to describe this program. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on Control and have an if and then. I want to check the right ultrasonic sensor. So click here, here. The right is connected to two. So if two is less than the distance that we allocate, then that means something is on the right. But before I make my decision, I need to actually know what's on the left. So I'm going to put another if and then and check the ultrasonic sensor plugged into three and check, make sure that that also isn't seeing something. If they're both seeing something, it's really simple. We're going to click on movement and we're going to move straight at the speed we're charging at. If we're not seeing anything with the left sensor, then we have to turn right. So we're going to start moving to the right at that particular speed. But what does right mean? It's that turn number that we're giving. And we actually have to multiply it by negative 1 to get it to actually turn right. All right. What if it's the reverse? Click on Control. First thing we're going to do is we're going to check the left sensor first. If the left sensor is less than the distance, that means something's on the left. But before we start moving left, we've got to make sure that something's not also on the right, and we've got to charge forward. So one more, <laughs> just one more if-then statement. And... Check the right distance. So if that's true, we got to charge forward. If both of them see something, we got to charge forward. But if only one of them sees something, if you only see something on the left, you're going to move to the left at whatever speed you're charging at. And so you don't need to multiply it by negative 1 because you're going left. If neither of your ultrasonic sensors sees anything, then you're going to go straight at 50% speed. All right, hopefully that wasn't too complicated. We're going to put a little comment checking two ultrasonic sensors if C right but not left, then move right if c left but not right then move left if c both then charge straight if c neither then move at 50% speed. All right, it's a lot. And now in here, all I need to do 
is click on my blocks and put in the two eyes program and put what do I want my three things to be? Well, my speed, I want to charge 100%. My distance, how far away do I want the robot to be? That you got to experiment with. I'm going to put 30 centimeters for now. It could be less, it could be more, you just got to play. And the most important thing to play with, which really depends on how far your ultrasonic sensors are from each other, is how much do you want to turn. If you make the turns too sharp, your robot's going to go all over the place. If you make it too shallow, it'll never catch the other opponents. So I'm going to go 50. But you can experiment with these numbers and uh, determine what is the best for you. And that's it. Let's run it.